Hi. Hi. Hey. Okay. Nora, come here. Say hello. Hello. She gets to go to the doctor tomorrow because she's still a little congested. And we need to see if she's okay to get her vaccinations and her spay. Somebody said in the last video, they were like, what happened to your kitten that you got, that you rescued? This is it. This is Nora. So, there she is. <laughs> and I have her all over me. We just went over to the mall and grabbed a coffee and um, story time. So I actually went into Uniqlo to try on like some tank tops and stuff and I had a few items in my hand and the lady like walked up behind me to hand me a, a like a cart or a basket? Basket. I had this in my hand and I turned around and when I turned around I like dumped it all over the clothes. <laughs> so I bought a shirt that I wasn't planning on buying but it's cute so there's that. It's currently soaking trying to get the coffee stain out so we'll see. I'll let you know if that happens. <laughs> um, anyways so the reason why I am wanting to just sit down and chat with you for a second is because um, I I know that I was, my cats are really distracting, sorry. There's like fur flying everywhere. Anyways, okay, so I know that I was really curious about how I was going to read books and what books are going to be available, what's allowed, blah, 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 um, in China before I came. And now that I've been here for almost a year, this month is a year, I can tell you exactly how I read books. And basically that would be mostly my beloved Kindle. I love this thing so much. So what I do is I have numerous, numerous, I have two, I have two library accounts. And what I do is I find the book that I want, I put it on hold if I need to, or I just, you know, check it out. And then I have it sent to my Kindle. So just like I do in the United States. However, I do have to have this little guy hooked up to a VPN. So we have a VPN in one of our routers and um, yeah, I just have it connected to that internet and yeah, I'm able to download all my books. However, I have been pleasantly surprised by the options of physical books here. You can get a lot on Taobao. I haven't done that yet, but you could order them. It's kind of like the Amazon of China. But then we also have uh, bookstores and I will link the videos below, but there are two different videos that I went, actually three, but I went to the foreign bookstore and in my one of my very first videos I did, it was like last October, I took you guys there to get this guy. You still haven't read it because it's a monster. It's a monster is what it is. So I read the first one in this series. It's the Sarah J. Mass Crescent City series. I read the first one in quarantine. So the 10 days of quarantine, I just like devoured the first one. I have that physical book that I bought back in the US. And then I was like, I really, really want to have the physical books of these. And I was so happy when I went to this foreign bookstore and they actually had these. I haven't really even seen them since there. So I don't know if they sold out and they didn't replenish, but. So we'll also be talking about my summer TBR and this guy is on it. I will be reading this probably in the next few weeks. Um, because I, I don't know, nostalgia. I like want to read it around the same time that I read the last one. So what's really cool about the bookstore is they have these stickers or stamps that you can put in them um, on your way out. So it's pretty cool. So, so I know that that is where I purchased it. Uh, another book that I got in my last video, I actually uh, didn't tell you which book I was looking for and I wanted to share that with you now. This is going to be on my fall TBR. I don't do monthly ones. I just kind of do like mood reads really because I don't sometimes I just don't feel like reading certain books that are like on my TBR. So so um, anyway, I found it. Secret History I by Donna Tart. I had been um, looking for this book for a while there at that bookstore and I had I just had kept my eye out because there's also used bookstores here where you can go in and I have another video that I'll link to that I, that I actually bought some used books, which is really nice. But 
the rest of my summer TBR, I'm just gonna like rattle them off really fast. Okay, okay, cool. Basically, um, if you wanna know the kind of books that I read, I read like, I read everything from romance to um, fantasy, mystery, like I just like a bunch of stuff. I don't really read biographies or anything sad. I really don't like sad books. I'm like, what's the reason? What's the purpose behind reading a sad book? Because I read to escape and I don't want to escape to something sad. <laughs> so there's that. So I can put the books here. <laughs> How about that? Ta -da. All right, so first one was Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. Finished that last night. I'll do a video maybe about like what I think about these books later, but this is just a cowboy romance or like a Western romance set in Wyoming. Next is Fourth Wing. And this is one of the books that I was really cautious. I really didn't know if I wanted to read it or not because I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I've never even read Harry Potter. Because I am not a huge like dragons or like I like fantasy but I don't know if it's like super hyped up and everyone loves it like I kind of steer away from it. That's weird I know but that's kind of how I roll. So this one was really hyped up and everyone was talking about it but then I said no you know what I'm gonna give it a try and my friend Nat who you saw earlier she loves this book. She said it's amazing and so I'm really excited to read it. It's like it's dragons. There's dragons in it. Um, next is A Perfect Vintage by Chelsea Fagan and I really don't know much about this book but I love the cover and I'm here for it. So and it looks like summer, right? Summer. Next is The Rachel Incident by Caroline O'Donohue, and I think this is an LGBTQ plus book. Um, not positive on that from reading the blurb, I think it is. Um, it just sounded intriguing and something different, so we're gonna read it. House of Sky and Breath, which I already talked to you guys about, that one definitely happening. So then uh, next is The Wisteria Society of Lady Scoundrels by India Holton. And this one, I don't, I don't know. It's like, um, well, first of all, the cover. Hello. I mean, it's gorgeous. But then secondly, I, I think it's like a mixture of Peaky Blinders meets like Sherlock Holmes-ish things going on. So that sounded really cool. Uh, next is A Summer Affair. <laughs> that is my cat. That's my cat. I'll just a little coffee break. Apparently they're having a, um, this is really cool. It's an apple. I didn't get an apple coffee, but they, one really neat thing here in China is that they do, companies do like, um, collaborations all the time. Recently, I think... Was it Manor? One of them did a collaboration with Louis Vuitton. It's like so crazy weird. But anyway, I don't know who him is, but they did a collaboration with him and everything's green today. Green lid, green straw. Almost done. Uh, next is A Summer Affair by Ellen Hildebrand. Hildebrand, I don't ever say her name right, but her books are quintessential summer. I'm sure if you're a reader, you know her books. They're romances set in like Nantucket. I don't know what a summer affair is about. I mean, I'm assuming there's an affair because that's what it's called. Next is, oh, and this one, this next one was recommended to me by my best friend, Megan. She loves this book. And I said, well, could it be a summer read? Like, is it summery? And she's like, yeah, most of it happens in the summer. So it's called The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix. It's gonna be great. I don't know why I'm so excited about this book. I think I think there might be vampires in it at some point. I think it gets a little fantastical, but like it's kind of gory, she said. I don't know. It's, I think it's gonna be fun. Next is Wildfire, actually last, last but not least. It's called Wildfire by Hannah Grace. The first one in this series I think is called Icebreaker. I have not read it, but I figured that's more of a winter book because it's about skating like hockey and a skater. This one is about two camp counselors, I believe, in the summertime. So, summer. 
it's a summer TBR, so summer, summer reads. Are you sensing a theme here? <laughs> okay, Nora, I think we're done. I think that's it. I've been squinting a little bit because the light is so bright from all my beautiful windows. <laughs>